All right, are you ready for this, Ella? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Me too. I am ready to rock and roll in the kitchen. Do we have people joining us yet? We do. We've got about seven people rolling into the room now. So welcome. Welcome everybody. See, see everybody joining. We've got Tony, Tina, Rebecca, Mary, Lisa, Linda. Oh my gosh, the number's kicking up. Welcome everyone. Hello, welcome. 15, 16 people. Wow. Good evening. All right. And the numbers are climbing. We're just welcoming everyone here. Hi, everybody. We are going to get going soon. Just waiting for a good chunk of participants to join us. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Mary. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Tina. Tony. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to cook with all of you. Love it. Linda, Chris, Connor, Diane, Emily, Holly, Jeff. Jesse, great to see you guys. We've got Judy and Linda, Lisa. Yeah, Lots of great people, some familiar names. Awesome, yes, indeed. Oh, cool. That's great. As we're getting started, um, I see some folks, Holly, Tom, Rebecca, you all have already found the chat feature. Feel free to use the chat feature and say hello to everyone and use that throughout. And uh, if you would like to speak, we can promote folks to speaking. So Maria, you let me know and we'll go back and forth. This voice you hear is Sarah. <laughs> I was say, the voice you're hearing is Sarah Frasek and I'm a volunteer with Feeding Loud Filling Mine. So I'm behind the scenes here, but I'm gonna kick it on over to you two ladies to right. start us off because it looks like we're at about 23 participants and the number's going up. All right, well, let's get rolling. So, hi everyone, so excited to be cooking with you here tonight. I'm Maria Nicholas Groves, founder of Feeding Mouths, Filling Minds. Um, many of you know what we do, but I'll just remind you of our mission. Uh, it's really our goal to eliminate uh, the challenge of finding safe and sustainable food and water systems. And we really line up to the UN uh, sustainability goals and eliminating poverty being one, eliminating um, hunger another. Um, and this, first and foremost, this can't be done without all of you guys uh, participating. So thank you for joining us and supporting us in this work. And I also wanna thank our CV here, a brilliant executive chef who is going to be teaching me how to show up in the kitchen and hopefully not cut myself. <laughs> um, and then I want to thank all of our volunteers. Many of you know that our volunteers are all working full time, working professionals. They're amazing talent and skill. And um, they use some of that extra free time, which isn't very much, to do the good work that we have here um, going on at Feeding Mouse Filling Mines. The lion's share of our work is done in rural East and West Africa. And I'll talk a little bit later tonight about uh, some of our our active projects in Liberia and Sierra Leone and where some of these funds will be given. So with that, I just want to thank you guys again. I'm so stoked to be cooking with all of you. So turn it over to Awa, please tell everybody about your fantastic business. Hi, my name is Awa TV. Uh, I'm the founder and uh, the chef of Lidelitsa Awa LLC. Lidelitsa Awa means uh, Awa Delicatis, so it's in French. I'm from Cote d'Ivoire, West Africa. So primarily we do speak French. We do have about 62 ethnicities. The reason why we have to find one language to speak so we can all understand each other. And uh, also we're colonized by the French. So I should not forget about that. <laughs> 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 so we did not choose to speak French. But yeah, so I do uh, West African catering. I also have a food cart that I was supposed to launch this summer, but bummer. So we have uh, Corona, unfortunately. And I'm not able to do that as it kind of sees um, all the the things going around the downtown area and everything. So, but I'm hopeful. So I have came up with uh, different things that I'm actually reselling, like my hot sauce. I have dry spices that are also coming out and uh, some uh, marinade that I'm going to be selling soon on the shelf. So hopefully uh, it gets a lot of attention so I can be supported that way by everybody. So yeah. What else was I supposed to talk about? No, that's perfect. Just for context, since we have people from all over on this, we're here in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, Feeding Mouse Filling Minds is out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and, um, and hopefully that helps. And then, yeah, stay tuned on this hot sauce, which I believe Awa is going to be, ooh, 
Yeah. So I brought a little bit for us to eat. Ooh, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna cry here. <laughs> and actually, I brought a sample of the rub, the dry yeah. rub. So we're gonna use this to marinate our chicken. Nice. Unfortunately, you don't have that at home, but it's gonna be good. <laughs> well, stay tuned because since Ella is doing some of these creations, we might just have a little bit of competition baked into this <laughs> event tonight. That some of you lucky winners, I may just send some of Ella's delicious stuff to. So. Stay tuned on that. All right, shall we get cooking? We should. Okay, tell me what to do. I'm a total novice. We should start with the chicken. Okay. I just couldn't wait to start with that. All right, folks. So we've got just some pre-cut pre chicken here that I'm going to season. So we're going to get the soup bowl. I'm okay. using two packs because there is five of us. Uh, yeah, five of us. So I'm using two packs just to make sure we have enough. But the recipe did call for one full chicken. Oh, yeah. Okay. Set them in here and season. Okay. So, if you've done this uh, two hours prior, it will be even better because you will let the seasoning sit so it can marinate for two hours in the fridge. Usually, that's what I do. Even if you can do it overnight, it's great. So, people usually saute the chicken, they fry it a little before the to put it in the soup. I'm not a fan of that just because peanut butter has a lot of oil and then we don't need to add more grease into grease. So we're just gonna bake ours. We're keeping it clean. Yes. I like we it. We are and healthy. I've been working out so I'm pretty excited about that motion now. I'm getting a lot of work actually doing COVID so <laughs> yeah. This is the season. So what what should I do? Perfect. Like so we actually put in here oh. onions. Um green pepper. We have garlic in there too. Yeah. We're going to use um, some of the ginger roots. I don't know. We had it somewhere. I'm not sure. We'll find it. But just so you guys know, if you didn't do this at home, we use like half of this garlic in extra um, virgin olive oil. I put about half of that in the blender here. So if you use garlic plus, it's perfect. Okay. Uh, I just did this because I have one arm that I'm working with, so it was like just better to use it that way. I'm trying. To we also did one, one green pepper and a half of an onion or a quarter of an onion. Yeah, you know, a little extra onion. So, so where's my hand though? The ginger is there. Okay, we're missing ginger. So, friends in the back, feel free to be on the lookout. Liquor deliveries. Perfect. <laughs> we'll advertise this for my club. This is this is how we do at Feeding Miles Filling Mine. This, this is my job. Where are you put it? But not big deal. So we're going to um, try to process this. We're going to blend this with all together so we can have a paste. Let me know if you need a hand. Yeah. I'll just this is sit here with my out. white cloth. <laughs> All right, if there's any questions as we're going through this, it's our first go around. Feedback. I love it. Um, Amy, Amy tells us 
go a little slower and louder. Okay, and louder Michael, Michael, I'm so glad you're here for this. Go ahead and speak freely without judgment. We can't hear you, but we might just surprise put on your microphone and put you on screen at some point. <laughs> I love it. Just kidding. Um, Roz is wondering, uh, Awa, can we get a recap of what's in the blender? So I'm talking in, through that. Yeah, I put in half of the onion that I asked you to cut. So half of an onion, I put in a, a whole green pepper, bell pepper, and uh, garlic. So we put half of this thing in there just because it's already, it's very, um, what's the word? Minced. Yeah. It's minced, so we'll put the half of this in there. So whatever garlic you have, just put it in. Just put in as much as you want, so as much as much as you can tolerate. Where the chicken is gonna need a lot of seasoning. So there's going to be the wet seasoning, and we'll also have a dry seasoning. So that's when the black pepper, the paprika, will come into play, and the the bouillon. Ladies, do you mind moving the bowls there so they can see what you're doing with their hands with the chicken? Oh, yeah. So, okay. so I'm going to move that. all this stuff. Can you see it? Um, if, so if they, Connor says if uh, they've got garlic bulbs, how many cloves should go in? Everything. Everything. We yeah. have everything. It's fine. It'll work. Depends on what you have going on today. An ent yes. entire. <laughs> no. Yeah, the so entire the whole thing. thing. Basically. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Because you're going to need some for this too. So it's okay if you just peel everything off and then. <laughs> and what Julie is wondering, what can we do if we don't have a blender? Oh, chop it. Chop it. Chop it? Yeah. Okay. Chop it. Julia, chop it up. All we'll right. give a little extra time for that. Yes. So we can be flexible. Um, Tina is wondering, do we need to do any prep for the vegetarian meal? Oh, so they're not doing the chicken. That's a great, yeah. Hi, T. Good to see you, girl. Um, so we did that a little bit in advance, right? Bit, you can yeah. go ahead and explain. So Steph, we, I'll just we, hold it. we cut, this was a whole onion that, that we onion. cut up. And then we have a, dice. a cabbage that we cut in half and another half again, so in quarters. We have two because we don't need that many. And then you do have eggplant, so you do the same thing for the eggplant. We have baby carrots instead of big carrots. So you, if you have a big carrots, you just cut them up too. So we have baby carrots and then we have tomatoes. So I have four big tomatoes that we're using. And uh, so we have those cut up and I put them in water so they just can stay dry. And uh, one other thing, I think of vegetarian. That's what it looks like. So, so half of a cabbage. Water. There's water in it. <laughs> Your hands are clean, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I'll just pull it up. So half of a cabbage, teens, and we've got four tomatoes. And then, I don't know, it looks like 20 of these guys. Yeah. But if you've got big ones, just We're chop making them up a, a little. We're a big pot. So we have onions also that we peeled up, and then we cut into quarters, too. So same thing here. You will do that. It should be pretty easy to get that done. I'm sorry we started so early. And uh, mm -hmm. how's everybody doing on time? Are people getting things chopped? Are you still doing okay? Well, Mary says to tell Maria that you look great. Oh, <laughs> is that my Aunt Mary? Should I flex? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's really yeah. obnoxious. I'm sorry. If you don't follow Maria Nicholas Groves, FMFM's founder, <laughs> on Facebook yet, check her out. <laughs> She's pumping the iron hardcore. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Uh, great. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. We're Appreciate a casual it. group, guys. We are a casual group. You know, at, since people are chopping things up, you know, Awa, I think it would be a great opportunity to just hear a little bit about where where you're from and your first memory and experience related to food. So I'm from Cote d'Ivoire, like I said earlier, and I'm, I come from the capital city, Abidjan. If you know anything about Cote d'Ivoire, it's a beautiful country. We have, uh, we're bordered by the ocean in the south, so we have a lot of beaches. Yeah. I don't say it right, so I don't like <laughs> <laughs> You're okay, so we got your back. It's all good. <laughs> I don't like to say Beautiful it beaches. <laughs> yes, we do have a lot of those, and we do, we are bordered by, uh, bordered by uh, another East, uh, like West African country that's Ghana. Ghana is very popular, mm -hmm. so we do share border with Ghana. 
and Burkina Faso, Mali, mm -hmm. Liberia, Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so um, copyright is kind of like the US because it's a hub for all these countries around. Yeah. So there's like people from different cultures, different backgrounds that pretty much form the country. So if you know any story about West Africa, we used to have kingdom. Mm -hmm. And then eventually when the French came in, they colonized us and then divided into countries and they named them. Cote d'Ivoire was named uh, Cote d'Ivoire because we have elephants in there. The Ivoire stands for ivory. So they used to have a trade for the ivory. So mm -hmm. sadly they call it, and it's a coast. So they call it ivory coast. So mm -hmm. this is the reason why we're named ivory coast. So nothing special. But just that. So yeah, it's a beautiful country. We have a lot of diversity. Like I said, 62 ethnicities, and we have different groups. So it's a lot of diversity. Very welcoming country. Beautiful sun, and uh, a lot of good food. So we have food almost everywhere. We have a thing where we have food outside. It's like a. This can be a soccer field during the day, and at night they transform it into a restaurant. Oh, cool! So they have that. <laughs> Very nice. So there's a lot of grilling. We love to grill. You know, we love meat mm -hmm. and fish, fresh mm -hmm. fish. So we have a lot of that too. And yeah, uh, my memory of food. Whoa, it's just being outside, being able to enjoy fresh food. It's sad because we don't get that experience here. Yeah. There's so many seasons here, and right. we don't have that. It's very tropical. It's you know sunny every day unless for the rainy season and this is like May and June yeah. which is still okay but yeah so great yeah. awesome I I love hearing about all this I'm gonna feed you guys two questions that have come in while perfect you're there. please do so it sounds like people are really interested in learning about where you're from as well but we've got two questions as they're prepping great for the vegetarian meal from Tina do the tomatoes need to be cut up. No, they don't necessarily do. If you want to cut them up, just do it in half because we're going to process those too. So okay. we're going to cook them and okay. blend them. Okay. Now, if you don't have a blender, then. If you don't have a blender, you can dice them. I will tell you exactly what you do, like what to do as work. She just has to remind us what she does. Yes. So we can tell her exactly what to we've do. Got, in the we've got a good chunk of people who are doing the vegetarian yeah. one. Okay. So let's give instructions for both. Okay. And then uh, okay. Connor's wondering how much parsley should go in, like a quarter of a bunch? They just want to know. So you will just cut up half of the bunch. Do that half. Yes. Okay. So do that. Very good. Great. Connor's Thanks. on it. Thanks. If you guys have other well. questions as you're prepping, maybe do this in the chat. Let me know how you guys are doing on your prep work before Awa and Maria move on to the next phase of the recipe. Sarah, I think you should show them your face so they know who that you're they're dealing with on that chat. Oh this goodness. is our, this our is me. Hi guys. chief of staff, Sarah yeah. Frasic. <laughs> Just uh, drinking in the back. <laughs> double fisting. She is double fisting. Hey, she actually is. Like Pollyanna red wine. <laughs> If the texts start getting fun, fun children, buckle up, what? <laughs> Too funny. All right. Yeah, let us know how you guys are doing and if you're ready to move on. Yeah, give us a couple thumbs up if we can keep moving. So I don't know what you guys chose for your pinup. We, I, I love this brand. Anything that's creamy and it's organic, it's perfect. So when you see the oil running on top, it's, it's pretty much the best. Mm -hmm. that you can get so we're going to use that we're using a pretty big jar because again it's going to be a lot more than what you guys have so i kind of double up a little bit on the yeah okay we've got a few more questions here so uh one more time what's in the blender slowly i can do it this time around i'm loud okay so in this good good green juice we've got one green pepper I literally only cut it like in three pieces basically and then we processed it. But if you don't have a processor, dice it. We've got a half of an onion and what else? Garlic. And oh yeah, the half of the garlic. That's right. And they're going to ask like half add, of this sucker. Like a whole lot of garlic. In there. They're going to add parsley. Parsley and ginger. Should we be putting parsley in here? We're fine because ours is not Okay, so you're gonna add your parsley and your ginger in there. Yeah. Our ginger literally ran away. Yes, we can't so, find it. It's a bummer. I'm not sure about that one. 
because it was a big wood. I, I literally saw it when we walked in, so I don't know. It was like what sitting around here somewhere. Let's find it. Runaway so, ginger, folks. So Sorry. Was your next question. So for the vegetarian option, yes. The cabbage, the carrots, the eggplant, the tomatoes. Do they go in a blender? No. Nothing goes in the blender. Just cut them up, like I spit it in the recipe, and then put them in water and let them sit. Put they're going to just you know, hang out there. Put them in water, water, let it sit, and they're going to hang out for a bit. Okay. And then the blender mix. Is that for a marinade or for the stew? So this mix is going to be for the chicken. Oh. It'll be for the chicken. We're gonna okay. Use it for the chicken. So some of you, if you've pre-prepped your chicken, you may have already done this. Yes. Okay. And uh, someone, uh, Tony's saying, "Hey, we don't have a green pepper. Is that gonna mess up? Mess That's it up? Fine. You're okay. You're okay. It sounds like uh, Awa, we we can kind of go with the flow with this recipe. Throw in a little of this, a little of that. Yes. So I don't want to sound for all Africans, but it's a reality. We don't measure anything. We just, <laughs> we look at it, we throw it in there. <laughs> That's what makes it what it is. I mean, you've been in Cameroon. I'm not, oh, yeah. you don't see measuring cups. No oh, one no. cares about that. Yeah, I've really never seen them in all of Africa. And we That's have true. a lot of jokes about our people. <laughs> <laughs> so we if just, you're worried about it being exact, don't. I think that's what I was saying just here tonight. forget about that. We're going to West Africa. Just go with the flow. You got it. <laughs> It kind of feels like the 2020 theme, right? Yeah. COVID, do a virtual event, you got throw this. some in. Yeah. You got this. Yeah. We don't, we definitely don't do it. So how are we on so timing? We've got a few, so we're at 6.51. Okay. Um, and uh, Maria is saying, I cut up the chicken breasts in pieces, but do you recommend a whole chicken with the skin? So the reason why I do it's because it's gonna go through two different types of cooking. We're gonna first bake it and then put it in the stew afterwards. I mean, you're fine. We can definitely work with that. And this is gonna keep it crispy. So when it goes into the stew, it's not just all over the So you like it with the skin. Yeah, on. so it's yeah. not like smothered. You know, yeah. we don't really want that, but it's perfectly fine, whichever works for you. People can even cut their breasts into cubes. Just like they do with a tikka masala oh, type yeah, of stuff. Yeah. So you can cook your breast and then cut it into cubes and then maybe not bake it. If you're yeah. going to do that, you want to saute it so it's not overcooked. So it's two forms of cooking, yes. right? We've got baking and then stove top yes, stew. stew. So we'll put it in because there. of that, having the skin on kind of keeps that richness and yes. moisture. Correct. Well. However, to each their own. Yeah. So. You can definitely keep your breasts and I would just tell you to maybe cut up, dice it, and then uh, saute it prior to cooking the stew. Uh, I'll, yeah, you should do that. So no baking for you. So where should we all be by now? What is what is done? Where we should, should be good be? on the marinade for the chicken because the chicken has to go into the oven. Okay, now. so we're about ready to get yeah. the chicken into the oven and everything else is yeah, ready to so put on your gloves. Okay. Okay. What do we heat our oven up to? 350, 380, 400. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Depends on for the many, for the many. <laughs> we're running out of time. I wanted 350, but because we're running out of time, we're going to cook it fast. It's going to all go into the stew, so we shouldn't even be worried about, you know. So we're going to cook a little bit higher tonight. So we're gonna, we're gonna deviate from the recipe. Yet again, you guys are learning African style right here and right now in your own kitchen. This happens all the time. I always say you travel to any part of Africa and then you throw all your plants out the window. That's what we're doing tonight, folks. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, now you can pour that thing in there. Okay. Oh my. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. That's pretty. And then we're gonna use some. You're gonna use black pepper. Um, just like her garlic, paprika, okay. and then the bouillon. But because we have my uh, little mix here, okay. we don't need none of that. So, so you're going to just show them what they're using. Yeah. They're using black pepper, paprika. So I don't have it here. Okay. Some black pepper and paprika, which is not shown here. Sorry. And then the bouillon. bouillon. Mm -hmm. The one that I have is Maggie. It's very popular. Okay. You're going to use your salt too. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. I'm a big fan of that. And because we haven't used parsley in our mix, we're going to use parsley. And okay, yeah, I got to add parsley. If you guys already added parsley, yeah, no worries. I'm going to do it now. Tamara, just open the other side. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Go to town on this thing. All right. <laughs> so, go just as much as you want. I'm okay with it. Like that? Add more. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> You should see me here prepping. All right, I'm easel. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. That's a whole lot of parsley, my friend. Look at that. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Yeah. Lots of parsley. Don't skimp on the parsley. That's or the garlic. So we have this. There's a foam, so you probably want to open it. Oh, yeah. I see that. Okay. So this and is our specialty. Wow, that's pretty. Nice. Nice styling and everything. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, Don't even nice cover lovely. it. Just. <laughs> I love cooking with everything. Just get after it. Let's go. Put it on there. Just put as much, as much as I want. Just okay. Keep going. You just tell me. Keep just keep say going. when, girlfriend. Keep, keep going. Keep going. Oh yeah, she's not joking. So you add your the amount that I say in the recipe. Because to be honest, I did not know what to say in the recipe. It's because of Anna's pressure that I just said. The <laughs> measure. <laughs> So she measures nothing as an executive chef, but like literally look at that guy's like, she's like, that looks beautiful. it's probably a quarter of the bottle I just threw in there yes, and, and whatever that is I'm buying because it smells amazing. Okay. You should and add that to the like, Jill says you're fearless and uh, I'm <laughs> fearless mama. And, and, and you all have our volunteer Anna who's right over around the corner here taking say pictures. Hi. Say hello. To thank for actually having measurements <laughs> for yeah. all of these. So you're welcome to follow the, those or uh, go African style. And that's that cooking thing it sounds almost like Russian cooking because it's like just added, added as much much ing many ingredients as long as it looks good it's yeah. like a spoon of yeah food. totally it's not measured i mean here's the good news if you've had a few of these it's just okay it's just fine <laughs> so add your bouillon so okay. you're gonna so now i'm adding rice and dip two of the bouillon cubes I should probably Connor says he feels like he's on chopped right now so you want <laughs> <laughs> that's really cute okay i kind of do too connor i'm with you buddy I'm with you. Trust me. So you have to like press on this. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm like crinkling up, crumbling, yep. crumbling up bouillon. the bouillon cubes. Do it very, so it, it becomes fine. So oh, really so, fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The bouillon cubes have to be, apparently yes. that can't be missed. No, that can't be missed. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make sure that's <laughs> so during the winter, those become very solid, less rock. The one thing we do sometimes we just remove them from the wrapper. the wrapper and then put it put it in the paper towel and then put it in the microwave for ten seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah. I haven't ever done that. That's a nice little hack. We're gonna do salt. Okay. Whatever I say in the recipe, follow that. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now you're gonna mix everything together. Okay. You should smell the marinade. It's really right nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to add a little more salt. That's pretty. So the vegetarians at home are doing this with nothing. Nothing. They're, they're not, not. They're just hanging they're out. That okay. Okay. They're just skipping all this. And they're so sinking they're, their. They're having another drink. <laughs> <laughs> they're like. Maybe hanging out like Tony and Amy sent me earlier with some African drum music, hanging out with the kids. It was pretty fun. It got me all sort of pumped up. I love it. All right. How are we looking, Awa? Good. Yeah? Really good. And you're going to dump everything in here. Okay. Like, am I doing it like he's placing it or am I like dumping it? You can dump it in Yeah. Here. Like, do it. <laughs> I if you want to kind of also, girl. if you yeah. have time next time, you can uh, definitely put this on the grill too. It, it gives it a, a nice, really a nice smoky flavor, so that you can definitely grill this. But if you're grilling it, like I say, I would love for you to prep it ahead of time. Marinate it for a couple sit. hours or yeah. overnight, maybe. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna be so good. Okay, everybody, see that? That looks pretty beautiful to me. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. So, oven is on the other side of the kitchen. See you in a minute, folks. Yeah. Okay. How are, are people with chickens 
write in in the chat as they're going to put that in the oven. Let us know if you guys are ready to go. When you get a chance, let us know if your chicken is ready to go into the oven. What temp, Emily, uh, they said, we're trying to cook it a little bit faster tonight. Uh, typically it'd be around 350, but they put the oven up to about 400. All right, Jesse, their chicken is prepped and ready to go over with over at Jesse. Emily, great, glad you're with us. Hers is ready to go, both Emily's. Julia's breaking down her cubes, ready to go. Maria. I hope they have the ginger in there because we-, we Yeah, we skipped the ginger. Sure. But. So a uh, question for you, Maria is asking, is this um, when I would start the saucepan with the chicken? We're getting started. Not yet. Yeah, the, the, we're gonna start uh, the pinnace too. The chicken that goes into the oven, do they need to cover it? No. 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 Okay. Yeah. Cool, uh -huh. Mary's ready, Linda's ready. All right, okay. good communication here, I like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe just a, a, I know a few of you are just getting ready to throw it in the oven. We're getting ready to put the stew together. That is a huge pot you've got. What if we don't have a pot that size at all? We don't have to. <laughs> we just needed a big pot to show you guys what it looks like. So now we're going to attack the peanut cream. So yeah, the peanut butter. This oil on top, I'm going to recycle it. I'm going to use it. First, can I see that? Michael's just drinking wine and watching. <laughs> you told me you were going to do that. Okay. <laughs> Let's get that oil here. Let me rinse this out. Okay. And Tony had the vegetarian version earlier, said it was awesome. Oh, so. I it. Tony, we're going to have a whole little contest about hashtag post your picture. What is it going to be called, ladies? Hashtag cooking for a, oh. for a cause. Here we have it. Perfect. That looked pretty awesome, Tony. So we're gonna recycle this. Yes, Tony, I hope you took some pictures. See, that's a lot of oil. He did that one to me. Look at the bowl. Oh, I'm the sorry. Side. Sorry. So Show we just pictures, what you did. She just we're siphoned off the oil, which was pretty significant at the yes. top of the organic yes. peanut butter. Peanut. So now we're going to put all the peanut cream in this. I think this is so more efficient. All of it, right? Yeah. All of it. And now at home, they should follow the recipe. We're kind of doubling up, right? Yeah, we are because the jar is pretty big. Their jar should be smaller. Okay. Because I think it's for four people ish. I think we have home. the recipe somewhere handy. Well, yeah. My phone. We're doing this. Mmm, that smells tasty. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody. For the record, <laughs> I'm standing over here well, instantly with peanut butter. We, well, 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 we no longer have a blender either, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have another pot to put it in. Well, it's okay. It happens. Um, yeah, no, we're kind of I'm not drunk. Nope. <laughs> I, don't, I don't drink, just so you know. <laughs> it's all good. I just this have is, one arm. So. This is what we call too many cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. Everybody is a okay. Hey, it wouldn't be a show without something going a little crazy. In the background. Thank you. I'll give I'll give uh, a tour good. of uh, Anna. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Anna. What is and happening? Amy and Sarah. I'll tell you what. Amy. And Anna what are we helping do people having our back in okay. our kitchen. So we're going to add some water. Okay. All of it? No. We're going to go progressively. Okay. So we want a very, not a firm paste, but something very consistent. Okay. You're gonna like, okay. Now you're going to mix it. I would say that looks like a cup, a yeah. cup and a half, probably. Mm -hmm. Right? Sidebar question from Jill. Um, she used marinated tofu. Um, oh, I think yeah, someone will use tofu. Does she yeah. put that in the oven? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It won't get dried right out. No. Okay. It will go back into the stew. Okay. So whatever happens to the tofu, it's just gonna get back into. Ooh. And Maria, is that water? That was water. water. Um, 
we didn't measure it, but it was probably a good cup and a half. So you can see she wants it to be like with form of paste, right? Yeah. It's kind of how I would describe it to me. Mm -hmm. So about a cup and a half of water added to your peanut butter. Okay, I was going to open up uh, some tomato, tomato paste. paste. Yes. <laughs> How's everybody doing on this fine night? Holly says she didn't realize it was a comedy, but <laughs> <laughs> what were you expecting? Uh, Show us the uh, consistency we got there. Yeah, I'm still mixing. Put those muscles to use. <laughs> Would a blender have been helpful at this point? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's oh, all right. Do you usually use a blender for this? Or nope. Mix it Just by hand, hand like that by hand or with a spatula, whatever is fine. Okay. It's supposed it, to be it should be smoother. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you do this until it's smooth, guys. Yeah. And gal. Jill says her kitchen smells wonderful already. Wow. Yay! Wow. Perfect. And uh, we're gonna use this oil that we got from the oh from the peanut butter. Peanut. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that into the. Did you guys hear that? So the peanut butter. Ooh. Hey. The oil that was on the top of the peanut butter jar, she's using that as her base on the stove top. So there are different ways of cooking this. Some people will probably saute all the ingredients first. I like to cut up my uh, onions and stuff and then into big chunks, cook them and then blend them. Okay. It's my thing. So some people from the region do that. I learned from them. I didn't okay. even learn from my family. Really? So <laughs> my family usually dice everything and they okay. cook for the base. So we have different ways of cooking. So yeah. hence, either way is so fine. Right? Add some more water to this. Okay. So it's fine. She did a good job. At this point, it won't be hard anymore to mix it. Okay. So we just, oops. Yeah, it's fine. So in the meantime, while she's mixing this, I'll put the diced onion into the pot. Okay. <laughs> That is a monster pot. Yeah. Now we use this spatula. I like to use wooden spatulas. That was the one whole onion dice. Um, with Maria is wondering, yeah. is the water making the peanut butter harder? What's happening on the stove? Okay. It makes it softer. It makes it softer on the peanut butter. Yeah. So she added a bunch more water, I'd say like another, I don't know, half we'll cup. We're going to that. We're going to fry. This is going to be fried. The peanut butter. Peanut butter, we're going to yeah. fry next. But it's going to lose all the oil and it's going to fry itself. Mm. So, Yum -oh. so she took the top of the peanut butter jar. Remember we siphoned off like the oil on top. She used that as her oil versus like I usually use avocado oil in my normal stuff. But she used that. And then she put a whole diced onion in there. Remember that we had chopped up earlier. And now I'm just stirring this, and I think we're going to put, add put this to the mm -hmm. um, fry as well, yep, or the saute. Yeah. Okay, so your onion should be on the stove with your peanut oil. Yep. Cool. And then I would just uh, opened up this tomato paste as well. So something's going to be happening with that soon, too, folks. Okay. Look out. This is quite the suspenseful evening. <laughs> 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 I'm loving it too. Uh, what have you been time. doing your whole life? You're so <laughs> you should be a chef. <laughs> yeah, right. We should be a <laughs> This would be a good show. I'm, man, I've got some real criteria here. Do you have connections though? <laughs> We might, have, we might have to have this offline. Yes, well, where's the TV? Michelle Spice says that <laughs> next time we need to it. do a nailed it format and cut to three average people, which we can do at any time. Oh my so, God, that'd be fun. Michelle Spice, are you ready? We'll come to you in your kitchen, girlfriend. That'd be great. So if anyone, do this if anyone does fun. want to show us what's happening in your kitchen, let me know in the chat. Come on, Aunt Mary. I'll I believe you. in you. I want to see that kitchen at work, baby. Oh, okay. Apparently, I was getting a little aggressive on the stir. <laughs> All right.
tomato paste is in there already. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. They stirred in. the tomato paste in there. What about the tomatoes? Judy's wondering. They're if, still in the water waiting for us. So if you had the tomatoes um, and you're the vegetarian mm -hmm. option, mm -hmm. this is what's happening with all of your veggies. They're sitting in water waiting. Yeah. So I think the vegetarians here have got it easy, right? They, they might be either that or they're bored out of their minds. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. They're doing all of this. Oh, no, yes, yeah, if you're doing the doing peanut butter. Yeah. option, you're still doing the peanut butter. Your onions, your tomato paste, your peanut butter, and your peanut oil yeah. is all on the stove. Um, Jill, really where should my veggies be? Never mind. We just addressed your question, Jill. You're good? Mama Jill, she's two glasses of wine in. What heat <laughs> do we have this set to? Oh, that's a good question. It's high. High. Pretty high. We've got it. Medium. 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 High. Medium pie. All right. Our pie is okay. huge, so yeah, they're probably gonna have a lot smaller pot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just keep stirring the sucker. You can leave it. And I can we leave can it. Even lower it a little bit so it can cook. So how long are we cooking that on the yeah, stove? Okay. We're gonna let it be for about eight to ten minutes. Wow. We're gonna okay. keep checking on it though. Just okay. make sure it doesn't burn at the bottom. Everybody hear that? Eight to ten minutes. We're gonna like let it roll, but we're gonna keep checking on it while we do it. The oil is out again. 
Yeah, I see that. So every time you use tea, that you can still add a little bit of water and let it cook. It's essential. Talking about the oil here. Yes. That's pretty cool. It feels like science. It does kind of feel like science. <laughs> Adding water. Science and <laughs> art all at the same time. How's everybody feeling over there? I have a feeling that like our, you know, like the folks that are really detail oriented, like precision in their life, they're hating on us right now. <laughs> so, well, I can't blame you. Tell us, Maria, was it like that the first time you went to Africa? Did you have like any moments of shock after being a, a planner growing up in the US? Oh, well, it's definitely a situation of like, and Amy's been, well, you guys have all come along for the ride to different parts of Africa. But definitely, I'm not joking when I say, okay, you make your plans, right? Like, we're gonna, you have all these intentions, you're gonna meet these folks, you're gonna do these projects, you're gonna kind of sort of do them on these days. And then you put that literally out the window the minute you step foot in country because life happens, right? And, pe and people are very relationship oriented versus task oriented, much more collective in terms of approach, in my opinion, my experience, um, not to overgeneralize, but yeah. But the beauty is like, there's a lot of beauty in, in that too. So what's interesting, I'd love to hear your opinion, but I feel like everything you go to get done or accomplished happens, but there's like actually a lot more richness that happens along the way. When you have some freedom and flexibility to roll with it, right? Absolutely. We love people, but it's what really matters. And yeah. We have hours. We don't work 24 7. Yeah. Here it's like all of the time. Mm -hmm. It's like ongoing. We don't have really that set up. Right. We don't have that mentality. Like here they say time is money. We don't run like that. Yeah. We have family time, we have dinner time, we have lunch time, we have nap time. <laughs> <laughs> we take naps. <laughs> and when, when you guys talk about Africa, do you talk about a specific country? There was a comment that some oh. different countries in Africa are very have diverse. different cultures. So it's very diverse. Um, especially speaking for West Africa, yeah. we do have a lot of similarity all around. Like I told you, my country is kind of like a hub, so we have a lot of diversity. So we have people from Ghana, Senegal, Mali, who grew up in Cote d'Ivoire. Some of them are actually Ivorian. My parents do originate from Mauritania, Mali, uh, some of them Senegal, and uh, um, Saudi Arabia even. Wow. So it's like, yeah. yeah. So we have a little bit of everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. And that's what's been interesting, I think, in West Africa. Just you see the meals. Yeah. yeah the meals can be similar. Yeah, meals yeah. can be similar, but, you know, language and certain cultures are also different, different. Too. Yeah. and like, yeah. yeah. And some are actually, uh, some languages in my country actually derive from those languages in Ghana, yeah. in Sierra Leone. Yeah. And then, you know, they joke about whenever a war breaks, everybody knows where to go. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Seek safety. You can go back home. Safety back home, yeah. Oh, well, there's yeah. It's a bad joke, that. but yeah. we say that. <laughs> like, how people want to go back to Canada, yeah, <laughs> we have the same bad jokes here, actually. <laughs> so yeah, we have that. So it's like a lot of similarities. So I'm mainly speaking for West Africa. I don't like to say Africans a lot yeah. because it's, it's so diverse. I mean, yeah. Egypt to yeah, South we Africa. Have Arabs, to, we have, yeah. yeah, my mom has a different culture than my dad. So, yeah. yeah, diversity. It's everything. But yeah. So all right. So how are we at? Frying. Yeah, this one is very brown. Yes, it's definitely cheapened in color. Yes. Yeah. And we're going to ruin all of this with water. A lot of water. We're going to ruin all of it with water. That's cute. <laughs> it's really good. So How much water should we have prepped if we're about to ruin this with water? <laughs> <laughs> that thing How much water did I call in the recipe? Well, hang on. I, I think I said sure. four cups, just six cups. Um, For me, I'm going to put this whole bowl over there. Bowl, okay, no, so take a look nice. at your recipe, guys, and find out how much water I will put and there. Or I even even your pot. That. Look or, at your pot, and then if it's a medium-sized pot, I will say put the water all the way up to... Oh, it just said add some water until it okay. gets consistency. So that was for the... Yeah. And then we have more water. 
And then we have more water after okay. that. Oh, oh, it does say four cups of water. Yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. Um, number 17, folks. No, we're on oh, number 17. I even four cups that? of water. She, uh, oh, uh, on our process engineer over here and CEO of you know, Workwear, she is quite good at the numbering. <laughs> so about four, four cups of water you're adding to your mix. So I'm going to disappoint you. I'm going to add more water. Can Again, you know? more? Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of water. So she's making an executive decision. <laughs> and more I'm water. hoping they all have a big enough pan at home. So that for them, for the the amount that I uh, saved, of it, I don't know how many um, cup of peanut butter did they put in there? Well, they put in less than we did in the Yes. So the it, it's going to play on that. What do you guys think of so what is the goal of the, the consistency we're trying to get at? So we're that gonna help them. We're gonna okay. really get a water base because it's gonna boil all the vegetables and then it's uh, all gonna become thicker again because okay. the pennant is going to do that. Okay. So don't be afraid because everything is gonna come back thicker. Looks like another well, I'd say at least what a cup and a half for them. Mm -hmm. Maybe two. For them? Yeah, like another cup. How many, like the, 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 the they jar? Put four cups. They put, they put four cups of water in already. So and how much, much of peanut, peanut butter did they put in? That's all. Hang on, let me get my that's not really here. Here. Sorry, everybody. It's our first go around here. We're, we're learning. So, Connor, no, the tomatoes have not been added. The tomatoes should still be sitting with your vegetables. Yeah. Right here. Only the tomato paste. Only the tomato paste. Tomato paste has been or added. If you are fine. doing the vegetarian option, the then the tomatoes are still sitting here. Sarah, we've got more clarification. So if you added one jar of peanut butter, Allah is saying you can do up to six okay. cups of water. Yeah. It's very weird to watch oneself on. Laptop. Not, not really interested in that. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna cleanse the onion. Okay, now we're going for the onion. Cut. All right. Yeah. So, so these we, were, I just cut these in quarters. These were two different onions. Mm -hmm. So, and we're just adding them just as so. Yeah. All right. Trying to not let it slash me. That would be notorious. Um, Emily's wondering what about the diced <coughs> tomatoes for the non vegetarian option? Add Coming them up. now. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, add them now? Because we're adding our tomatoes now. Yeah. Oh, add them now. So add your diced onions and your diced tomatoes now. All right, Nine. vegetarians. Nope. No. Non vegetarians. Non -vegetarians. Wait, what? No. Non vegetarians. Do they have diced tomatoes? No, we don't. We have whole that tomatoes. Was, that was for. The ones that don't have a blender. So we have three groups here. We have the vegetarian, non-vegetarian. We have the people that don't have a blender. blender. Oh, do we have? <laughs> Woo! All right, All right. We're, we've, we've got, got it. Back to em it. Emily is asking what, <laughs> so the, those who have the chicken mm -hmm. did not have, and, and have diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. I mean, tomatoes can hurt. You yeah. just put them in there. Yeah, put them in. So just add them in, Emily. Yeah, Go for Throw it. Them in, baby. We're using them At this right point, now. if you have vegetables, are you starting to add them in? Is that Not what's yet. happening? So we're, yeah, we're adding onions and tomatoes right now. We're Should I add the tomatoes? Oh, whoops. We're going to let them cook. Sorry. Okay. okay. Oh, tomatoes. tomatoes. Yeah. Or diced. <laughs> the thing you've been asking and waiting for. The tomatoes are going in. <laughs> the tomatoes are getting in there. How many were there? Four, right? Four. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I keep them frozen because they come from the garden. Oh, I sure. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not like smashing them. I'm just, should I? Let them cook. Let them cook. Yeah. Let them roll, folks. Are we going to let this cook? Are the onion, large onions, just for the flavor? or will, will the tea Those are going to be blended. Mm -hmm. gonna Eventually, we're blending them. them. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm good. good. Oh, you've got backup to your wow. backup plans. <laughs> you did not burn, you did not plan to no. destroying the blender. So <laughs> we can take Maria care of that for you. So Maria, you you said you diced the tomatoes. Yes, that should go in at that time. That's correct. Go ahead. Yeah, you're cooking like my mom, so it's okay. I'm cooking like someone else. 
That's perfect. So that's still perfect. tastes yeah, lovely. So it will still taste good. I okay. love it. So we can just let this cook. We have to stop working on the dessert. dessert. Okay. So vegetarians, what you're left with is the cabbage and the carrot. Yes. Still we're all left with that. Still mm -hmm. in the water. Just your tomatoes have went in. Mm -hmm. And if you had diced tomatoes before. Those are in. They are in as well. Perfect. Let us know if you have any other questions. Oh, what about the habanero? Oh, there's a habanero. Just wait a little bit before you put it in because you don't want to break that. It's hot. So we're going to add that Perfect. last to the stew. Right now because we have to eat on the side. Yeah, but they so are. So when should, the should Emily last. put, when should Emily put the. 20 minutes prior I'm, to the end. I will let you know when. Because I'm just afraid that hold on not so on it because it'll be too spicy. Yeah, that's okay. She's worried about that. So that'll be the last step of the mm -hmm. stew, it sounds yeah. like. Perfect. Perfect. Right. Keep the questions coming, guys. We are going to, while that is sitting, how long is that going to sit on the stove? We're going to let it cook for about, I'll say 20, 25 minutes-ish. Yeah. 20, 25 minutes. And so while that's sitting on the stove, we're we are going, going to make the dessert. We have two things to make dessert and rice. So we have a rice cooker. So we can either get spot on that now, like wash our rice and put it in, or we can wait because it doesn't be too long and get spotted on the couscous and okay. the yogurt. So we have those on the cart. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a bowl. Thanks, Vanna. <laughs> how are you guys doing? That was intense. Yes. Hi. Yeah, how's everybody feeling? Not everybody all at once, huh? Julia's doing good. Michael's tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Michael. Hey, Michael. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's funny. There's, we haven't heard from Chris. I want to. I want to hear from Chris and know how you're doing. We haven't heard from Dimitri. My boy. Diane. Girl, Jeff. Let us know how you're doing. Just checking in. Linda's doing good. Good. Jill, Jill's having fun. Jill and Annie. Aw, mom and daughter cooking don't together. We're going to boil some water. Okay, honey. Okay, tell us, what, tell us again. We're what going to boil some water for the sisters. So if you have a kettle, whatever, just boil some water. I'll let you know. Like a couple cups, probably? Yeah. Cups. Looks like she's filling up about two okay. cups of water, yep. throwing it on the stove top, and we're going to get the couscous measured, not measured out, but measured out for you guys. Um, and cooking the couscous as we get into the, it's called dengue, right? Dengue. Dengue. Mm -hmm. dengue. Yes, How do you say it? Dengue. Dengue. And then Senegalese, we call it dengue, and Senegalese do, and Gambians would call it chakli. Huh? Chakli. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, usually they use millet, like this. Okay. Or we can use couscous. It's easier here and easy to find too. Nice. Love so it. what is millet for people who don't know? Are you able to move? Oh, millet oh, is, um, huh. I don't know how to do this. We had a millet actually. It grows broken wheat. It's yeah. like wheat. Broken mm -hmm. down wheat. Mm -hmm. Or maybe people. Should the soup be boiling or simmering? What did you turn it down to? Boiling. It should be boiling. boiling. Yeah. And the what temperature soup? do you have? The I have it on high. It's on high. My pat is big. Just yeah. be mindful of that. So okay. I have it on high because of my pat. You can have it on medium high. You find medium high to medium high, high on your stew and get to a point of boiling. Yep. Perfect. Got any red wine? Yeah, yeah, we got you. Got all right. You. All right. So Seems time. Uh, okay. Uh, Tina, you got that? Thanks, your soup doing good. I hope it's boiling and on high. Just watch it. Well, and Mary and Jeff, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the show. <laughs> All right. So we so, are we now have water boiling on the stove for our dessert. All right. And chicken, yes, Julia, chicken is still in the oven, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. I love you guys. You're so interactive. Yeah, they're great. Perfect. So we're Thanks. going to Thanks. use the yeah. so non. Um, Oh, no, not necessarily non fat, but it can just be what we have. We have a whole milk, whole milk yogurt, plain. plain. Mm -hmm. Are you, am I putting the whole thing in or? Okay. 
And how much is in their recipe? Do you have that pulled up by chance? It's hard for me to keep switching between it. I can grab it, otherwise. I would even handing me my phone right next to you there. Thanks, honey. Appreciate it. Mm. So at home, we don't necessarily use the yogurt and the sour cream. We make the yogurt. Oh. So yeah, we don't have time for that. Just wake up a little. We, we usually make the yogurt. We have a sip overnight for that to ferment. Is, is that the ferment? Way? Yeah, ferment. So here, because we don't have that time, we use sour cream to make it sour first. So you guys are using 24 ounces of plain yogurt that I just added. Mine's a little bigger. And then we're going to do sour cream, which we said one medium-sized container. And as Awa just described, she does this all homemade in in country through the fermentation process. Right? Yep. Since we're here in the U.S. of A, apparently we take shortcuts. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> or for the purposes of the evening. We anyway. do. I'm going to open my uh, can. Mm -hmm. I asked for evaporated milk, so I'm going to open that up. Okay. Mm -hmm. right back. We have a machine. Okay. Okay. One can of evaporated milk she's opening up. Okay, guys? All right. How's everybody doing? Yeah? Good? How are we feeling? Michael, salud. I think we've got quite a few people who are having some wine. We've got Annie and Jill. I know I can count on you for that. Julia. Okay. Good. Michael, cheers. 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 I think Holly's having a drink as okay. well. Hey, I bet she's having some red wine. I know. I think Michelle was having a drink. All looks right, like, spies. like Linda is as well. Okay. Hi, Linda. Cheers. I, I did, cheers. I just want to look at the chicken. It's browning. So I did when your chicken should be brown. Okay. So um, chicken should be browning. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. One can of evaporated milk going in, folks. Tell us that one more time. You you just checked on your chicken in the oven. It's brown, so it should be browning by now. If you put it at 400, that's what we did. So 400, the chicken chicken is like going everywhere. We're recycling. Okay. Thanks, honey. Appreciate it. Okay. Wouldn't it be nice if in the kitchen every time you had somebody that you could just like hand your mm -hmm. empties to and clean up? That is cheap. Making this and it becomes very smooth, smooth and yep. Okay. Like you did with the pitot. Okay. And then we're going to add sugar in there. We want the yogurt to still be thick. So be mindful of how much liquid you put in there. Okay. We have a bigger yogurt uh, mix. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. See, it's, it's still thick. Mm -hmm. It is still thick. I don't know if people can see that. Uh, how did you two meet? Michael's wondering. Oh, actually, we met through Linda Vacunta. Um, how do you know Linda, actually? Uh, okay, Linda Vacunta, real quick, sorry. Um, she is the deputy mayor of Madison, Wisconsin, and total amazing woman. And she is highly involved with finding Project 1808 in Sierra Leone and also here in Madison, Wisconsin. And this is one of our core par partners that we do work with in Sierra Leone. Many of you have um, also learned about some of our other projects with Punadugu College and helping catalyze that. And we've worked very closely with Linda and El Hat Dr. and Jai through that. And so I'm very excited to have met Ella through her. So how do you know Linda? So I met Dr. Linda Dr. through Dr. Fred. He's the chief of staff of the city council. Okay. So I see he's from Ghana. So he introduced me to Linda and then yeah, we connected. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And so she introduced me to Awa and um, explored this wonderful event. I just want to remind you guys, you're doing some awesome things. Not only are you learning about culture and cooking something new, but you're supporting a woman entrepreneur here in Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, nice. Yes. And, um, and obviously our amazing work that we're doing in Sierra Leone and Liberia through Money's Race. So pretty awesome evening if you ask me yes it is i love it i want us to have a cooking show <laughs> <laughs> apparently our next side hustle is going to be a cooking show well, i like to eat and drink so that could work for me so what's our stew, what's our stew doing right now it's boiling 
Oh yeah, ours is definitely boiling. Okay. Looks, and so you're also at the one hour mark for some folks who are just drinking and might have schedules. I do want to do a time little bit, check. just a time check. I want to know a little bit more and make sure that if people do need to leave that they clearly hear with the name of your business, mm -hmm. our organization and sure. how they can support both. Tell so, us about that. So it's Le Delis de Agua. You probably will have to put that can in. Can you write it up over I will chat that in. Oh, chat that, that in. Okay, sure. thank okay. you. So Even it's better. L E S space. You got it. I've got it. I'm yeah. going to okay. chat the link to her restaurant right yes. here. I have a Facebook page yeah. and a website, and um, yeah, so everything is on there. What is your personal favorite meal that you make? Mm. Ooh, good question. I have a lot of favorites. Give us top three. A chicken is one. A chicken is it's it's a tagoria. So it's oh. cassava couscous. Mm. It's fermented. They they go through a lot of process to, to make that. It's all made naturally, and uh, they made it off of cassava. Ooh. So we eat that with fish, chicken, lamb, anything. That sounds so delicious. it's really good. But that's my top one. Um, How do you say it one more time? A chicken. A chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I love fufu. Fufu with palm nuts too. Okay. And then fufu with. Um, we call it sauce claire. It's different. It's made with the uh, eggplant, garden mm -hmm. egg, but not eggplant, regular eggplant, garden egg, and it has a lot of seafood in there. Mm. All right. So for our pescatarians, that's mm -hmm. good. Food sounds like a nice option for it's you. It's really mm -hmm. good. So yeah, we have a lot of good things. And yeah, I love a lot of food from my country. I mean, I, I, I love it. That's one of the reasons why I became a caterer, because when I first moved in, I was an international student and I was told that I would not keep up with the kitchen because I have to go to college and really and I told them, Oh no, I'll be cooking every day. <laughs> I She's did. like, You don't know me. <laughs> I did because I couldn't find anything That's that was dope. similar to home. The only food I could find that was comforting was Indian food. Yeah. But it's because of the rice. Yeah. We eat a lot of rice and tofu and couscous, so I just had to make my own. And everyone will eat it feel like they're home. That's awesome. So that's what's fine. That's what's fine. That's my mission. That's beautiful. Real, real quick, and Jesse, I will send the link um, in a follow-up, but uh, information for donation and links um, oh. on FMFM. -FM yeah. Please. So I think you guys heard our mission before we really focus on eliminating the challenge of finding safe, sustainable food and water systems. Um, the lion's share of our work is done in Eastern and Western Africa, namely rural parts where it's really arduous to get drinkable water or really get a sustainable food chain going. Um, you are welcome to donate. Thank you for all of those that did already. Go to www.feedingmouthsfillingminds.com. Go up to the top right and click the donate button and um, please do. And in fact, one thing I failed to say is where this money is going. Um, so we've done, so let me just really quick share with you where this money is going from tonight. Um, it is going to be going to Sierra Leone. We're doing a sustainable food project there. Thanks, honey. Um, so it's a, just under two grand actually to get us on our first small scale farm there. Um, many of you guys know we have a huge plot of land by the college. It's going to buy us goats. It's going to provide caretakers veterinarian care, and then 10 chickens, and then the full-on chicken coop and stuff, so, and, and initial feed, so um, I can give you the full breakdown, um, but that's just going to be like $1,800, we'll get it done, and we'll get us going in the right direction. What do you mean by large-scale, budget-wise, what is that? Oh, Mike what is wondering large-scale large versus small-scale? Well, I think here's the cool thing about what we're doing in Sierra Leone. This, they have many acres of land, so we tend to start small, make sure things are being well sustained, well cared for. We personally go boots on the ground and see how they're doing those things um, before we continue to make ongoing investment. So candidly, between their cassava um, potential production as well as their farmland, we could easily do 10 to 20 times this, plus there's opportunities with palm oil and the like. But again, um, we're starting small with, I would say 10 chickens and like, what is this? Like three, four, no, four goats, five goats. That's pretty, pretty small scale. 
to start. And I think it's a reasonable, palatable move. Let's make sure we're doing it well, doing it right. Oh, somebody just donated. Hey, thanks, <laughs> folks. Keep it up. I love it. So, so here's the here's the clarification. Michael's wondering if we could do 10K, what would what, mm. like would there be meaning to that? What would oh that, my gosh, how do look you at Michael. That? Hey, what is I that? love you. What, what's the impact? <laughs> Okay, well, that is actually what's really amazing, I think. So you guys know, FMFM, we don't have any full-time staff. We are just a small, I wish you guys could just step up in here, please, for just a hot minute, please. We are just like these powerhouse ladies right here, these gals, and then a bunch of you that are watching this. Oh, you can get in here. Come on. Are you kidding? Here you are, full-time student. It's okay, yeah, let's not break anything now. Um, so literally, like, we are just this small crew of amazing amazing talent that just give part time our skill set our time our attention and then we make sure every dollar matters so 10 grand i mean literally we built a college we built a college for 10 grand we've built an entire like farm pond in a rift valley area michael knows this in a place that had zero farming and really zero hope and now it is producing full on production of beans and seeds and it's got cattle it's changed the trajectory of people's lives um 10 grand i mean how many wells could we build for that four chris, chris, could, chris could tell us chris, chris, chris message us in buddy yeah tell them about chris uh yeah chris is what um is the founder of stress for africa who focuses on um the sustainable water uh, supply so he's really good at building wells so he's almost a specialist by this point yeah so we partner with project 1808 and uh, strides for africa and the three of us really have a huge impact in africa and it's just very rewarding to see the impact we can have with um even small donations and three wells for 10K. And oh three wells for 10k chris thank you thank, thank you buddy yeah yeah, it's, it's been amazing. And that, that's why I'm part of this organization because I can see how far the dollars can go and that we don't have full-time staff and everything goes directly to the projects and how, and, and a huge portion of it is that it's sustainable. It's not, yeah. not just that we give money to buy, to help someone buy food. We train them and teach them how to help themselves and establish school gardens or, or a farm. And then they can take care of themselves and the children right. focus on school and education. Yeah, thank you. Great, great question. Thanks for the and thanks for sticking with us a little longer, guys, as we get wrapped up. Okay, really nice sugar. It. Okay, like two sugar. Okay. Oh, okay. she's got a measuring cup. <laughs> this seems like it's against the law in Awa's kitchen. But look at what she brought out, folks. Oh, no. <laughs> Somebody's doing jumping jacks over there. <laughs> okay, so that's hilarious, actually. Um, I am instructed to measure out two yeah. cups, right? Yeah. Is that what they're doing at home? Or are they doing a little less? <laughs> We're just looking at it, but it's okay. This is at home. One half, half, just half. Okay, one and, and a half. Sugar. Yeah. One and a half cups. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then if you don't think it's sweet enough, you just add, just to your liking, okay? Okay, so we added one and a half cups, but to your liking, as Alice said. Yeah. You're welcome to. Well, I'm only doing two cups of this as well. Yeah. Two cups of We're going to use it to secure. Okay. My hot water is already ready. Okay. So, okay. so uh, how are we doing on time? Are we feeling like. We're good. I'm good. We're okay. Well, how long before people at home do you think are going to be eating? Because <laughs> right now I'd be getting hangry. Well, well, well. <laughs> It's time to get your vegetables out, actually, for the blending okay. process. Okay. Say that one more time for everybody. So it's time to get the vegetables out. I don't want to say we're about doing it. I'm trying to just speed up this one so okay. we can get the couscous done really quickly. Mm -hmm. So get your vegetables out. We're going to use those in a minute. Yep. And get your couscous measured out. Perfect. Two cups of that. I'm adding yeah. it to you. No. no. <laughs> oh, wait. We have to cook it. Hello. We have to cook it. I've noticed it. Just a half. <laughs> <laughs> I have to it. How much butter did I? I think I saved one. The butter. Butter. The butter. Uh -huh. uh, butter uh, says, let me check. Three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of butter. Okay, so I think I am. I'm good. Okay. I have four, but. 
Do you want me to cut it? Yeah. All right. Add your butter to the. Yeah. I've asked for dry resin, and uh, I use dry resin and also cranberry. It tastes good. So I do you have cranberries in Africa? We do. We usually do resins for mm -hmm. that. You know, mm -hmm. we usually okay. do dry raisins. Two cups of couscous with three tablespoons of butter. Yep. Move the sugar. And now you can put some of the raisins and. Uh, okay. And now we're going for not cutting oneself <laughs> yep. first and foremost. We're gonna add some of that to it really doesn't matter. The couscous. So the couscous yeah, mm -hmm. really yeah. I'm gonna wait until Awa yells at me <laughs> that it's too much. But until then, I'm showing you how many raisins I'm raisin doing. Says, uh, a handful. Okay. Of red a handful. Yep. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. A big or a small hand. Whichever. Is that good? It, it just depends on how much you would Apparently like. Apparently that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna add some cranberry. Some dry cranberries. Dry cranberries. Sebo. Sebo. I got told in French I like it. I got told in That's French. Sebo. Now we have the pot of water. It's hot. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this. You just want to cover your couscous completely with the water. You guys see that? Is that enough? Can you wing it? Kind of like, oh, yeah. You guys see it? Cover your couscous completely. Okay, so your couscous is in the bowl, your boiling water was poured over it. Yep. Or you can just follow the package instructions. Am I supposed to um start mixing this? Nope. Nope. Let it sit. Let it sit, folks. Let it sit. So we'll cover this and we'll put it in the cooler. Okay. Reach whatever. Okay. You have at home. Restate we're, that again. What are we're we putting the this beautiful mix of sugar sour cream, condensed yogurt. milk, and yogurt into the fridge now. We're going to cover it and put it in the fridge, cool it down a minute. You guys got that? Yep. I know some people have to sign off or are planning to sign off. We can't do it so. people, right? Yeah, we're, feel, we're learning this, guys. Sorry this is taking longer than anticipated. Nope, wow. Feel free to follow the instructions, but use whatever you should check on your chicken right now. Your feelings. <laughs> you should be checking on your chicken. Check on your chicken, Awa says. Yeah. What are they it's checking it's for? Especially if it's at 400, get it out. It's get great. it out if it's at 400. I bet you most people didn't quite crank it that. Okay, yeah. we're getting out our chicken. Okay. Okay, what cooler am I putting this in? Oh, we can do here, or we can do the big cooler down there, whichever. Right. Yeah, you can go to the walking cooler Thanks, down ladies. There. Now we are going to come back to the pot. All right. And what we're going to do, we are going to get the vegetables out. The onions and tomatoes. Yeah. Okay, guys. I don't know if you can hear this, but I'm. Re oh, go ahead, Awa. Get in there. And this might work. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're removing everything that we put into the pot. That's onions and tomatoes. For you that diced it already, you don't need to remove anything. Just leave it in there. So if you guys cut up, cut up big onions yes. and threw in the whole tomato like we did, get, it out. get them out. Yep. And we're there for flavoring here. Well, we're going to dice them. Right? We're going to blend them. Right. Yeah. Okay, but leave the soft in, right? Yep. 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 Okay. So, so what did you... So we're just move, removing these big guys out. Yep, we are. Take those out. And I think we're going to put them in a blender in a minute here. Yep, we are. Whew. These are all about to go into a blender. So I would like to tell you all my learning from tonight. I think I got to do a run on this with Awa beforehand in the future. <laughs> I'm going to have double the wine. I'm going to learn a lot. And that way, I will know what to expect effectively for you all. Okay, so that's my learning. It, it's it's <laughs> nearly impossible to be in the, in the African kitchen for one hour. <laughs> Every time someone asks you, what can you suggest for an hour? I'm always puzzled. So, <laughs> that pretty much sums it up, folks. So this is the reason why we don't like time, we don't like measuring, because you just stay in there from <laughs> 3 to 8, and then you eat dinner at 8. <laughs> that's awesome. That is the African Sorry, guys, we should have warned you. Yes. It, it's all about the passion. Really, we should have known. <laughs> you know what? They're typical African drinks. 
in your country? Oh, there's a lot. So they have alcohol, but they they when it's natural, they they take them off of the palm tree. Mm -hmm. So they cut the palm tree and they put little cups underneath it, and then they kind of like take the some tea. liquid mm -hmm. just comes in there all the time. It's very I don't I don't know the taste because I don't drink, but it's very strong. So they make liquor. Yeah, they mm -hmm. make liquor with that. Wow. So they that's the palm oil? Yeah, no, not the oil. Okay. The so palm. there's something the that comes out of the tree. Okay. They do that and then they, they make liquor out of it. So they, they let it, they ferment it. We would use a lot of that. Okay. So I think we're in business on this. Perfect. Now we're going to get the processor out. Someone should help me with that. So okay. Big one there. Okay. All right. So I'm sitting here with my tomato and onion. We're going to be getting the, the processor that has not been broken yet this evening. <laughs> the one that we did not make. I will not be happy. <laughs> we got your back, girl. <laughs> the other one is okay. Okay. This is my new baby. Oh, be careful. That is a nice new baby. Okay. So. Any other questions we've got coming What in? about our vegetarians? We're going to go in with it now. Okay. Um, so, so, yeah, we're going to mix the onions, and then we're going to put it in and let it all cook in there. We're going to add our chicken soup. So everything's just going to go in that one. So vegetarians at this point probably can just add it in. Yes, they can. Okay. So tell us that one more time. Vegetarians at this point who have been, like, hanging out watching this quite a show. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you can add this into your peanut sauce now. And get it cooking. Okay. So this whole thing is going to go in there. I don't think we want to do it. Frankly, I'm not okay. sure if anyone's still cooking. They might just be drinking and watching the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maria's still cooking. Thank you. We got we okay, got a live Maria. one. All right. We are getting the processor ready. Yep. Oh, and oh, Anna is taking care of business. What did you just put in there? Tell she, us again. She put the onions and tomatoes that we removed from the main peanut sauce to, I guess is what Anna calls it, into the processor. Okay. And Anna is an expert in kitchen. Go to, go to town, girl. You show us. Oh, I should, guess we got to wait we? for Awa, huh? Yeah. Awa, should we uh, All right. process this, this yeah. stuff? All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Have it. Uh-oh. We didn't apply it, did we? Whoa. Or maybe yeah. I did this pretty good. Mm. Ooh, okay. and our Ta -da. chicken is looking that looks great, Amy. beautiful. Oh, okay. Smell that delicious. Oh my god. Oh, that smells fantastic. That's all you. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Massaging of the chicken. Nice when somebody's in here telling you exactly what to do. I love it. Yeah, that was good. Qu question for you before you start that, ladies. Do you have a rice? Is the stock that's not right yet? Okay, I can so you just take it out properly. Okay. They're trying to figure out the processor, oh. ladies. It's a new processor. Oh. Okay. There we go. That's good. I know we have another question. We One moment. Uh, There's a processor. Okay, go ahead and say Maria, it. So if you didn't put the onion and the tomato in whole, and you had it cubed. That's okay. Leave it, it in, she said. It's okay. Leave Can it you in. Skip the processor part. Yeah, skip the processing part. If you already had it. So, I don't know if you guys heard this, but Awa was saying that um, usually volume is not an issue for me. But Awa was saying, like, actually, her parents or your mama, anyway, you, like, typically diced things. She she doesn't. She learned from people in village or in the town. And so you do from the other side. Yeah, from the so other they, side. They, they do usually put everything in there and then blend it. Yeah, so everybody got their way. So that's her style. Some some just dice everything and put it in there. So Emily like diced. You're fine. Just leave it, it in the stew. Fine. You're fine. Leave it in the stew. It will cook and disappear. Mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. And you can skip the processor if you need to. What can I do? Yeah. Now we're okay? gonna dump this in there. All right. Put the whole thing in there. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, they're getting All right, ready. Guys. So this is what that looks like processed, the whole tomato and onion and stuff. So okay. I'm putting it Where's back in the one? stew. That's going back in the stew. Oh, God. Hey, <laughs> oh, sounds on camera. <laughs> okay, Maria, it's all been on camera. And, and now, I actually wanted to warn her. Got it. It's all good. 
Okay. Hey. Okay. Now. Ooh. M, I love my immersion blender too. That's so, she took an immersion blender. <laughs> so the people that like putting taking like no no. So people that are like um, non vegetarian, this is not a must. You don't really have to do this, but we're used to it. She told me to just put it in whole, guys. Yes, so I'm putting it in whole. So this is not a must. If I was home, I would not put this in there just because I like it with my chicken only or my fish or my lamb. Yeah, but you can definitely add veggies because it's healthy. It is. All right, okay. so that's that. I'm going to set this so here. We have not added the meat to the stew. If you look, this is what's in our stew. Now it's time. We can add everything in there. Now so we're, there. we're about to add our meat. So it's kind of like first time there is a process. In the middle of the cooking, there's no more process. Everything just can go. Okay. So we can put in the chicken okay. in there. Do we, is it hot? Is it hot? I got it. Oh, you girl. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, All right. Right. yeah, you can just grab them. This is kind of awesome. Yeah. Oh, boy. You want me to put them all in? We don't have to put it all in. You tell me what. Just maybe these guys keep going. Yep. Mm. Just a little bit hot. Okay. You can put so I'm wondering, when do you add the pepper? <laughs> <laughs> now, now sounds great. When do you feel like adding the pepper, Emily? <laughs> I'm just worried about you. It's going to get so spicy. <laughs> it's going to get real spicy. <laughs> so can go 10 minutes before the end. It doesn't matter. So, she, M, if you really like spicy, which I you think she kind of does, uh -huh. add it in. Um, she's fun. more concerned. How long, like, before it gets really spicy? So, should after, we cook it in for like seven minutes and take yeah. it out? Because after 10 minutes, the pepper will be boiled and mm -hmm. then the if seeds you, start. Yeah, if you touch it, it's going to break in your stew. Okay, if so cook it until you can take it out cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because good. it's once the seeds yeah. get in, right? Mm -hmm. And now, at this time, we're going to add. Sure, yeah. Seven yeah. minutes. More of the I mean, I'm pulling it, but I'm just saying she's. It's legit. Like it's so, before it breaks. We can add more of the bouillon. Oh. Oh. Okay. So we're going okay. to need two. Right. Show us you what we're adding. Can do okay. One. She wants to add more of the bouillon cubes. Okay. I'm a little mess here. I know. We're going to clean up here. this. Sorry, I don't want to get your jar all in. No, you're fine. So add one bouillon cube at home. We're going to do two, two since we're doing a bigger mm -hmm. pot amount. Yes, yes, yes. So the one trick to this, yes, ma'am. The wrapper. Oh, and then right there. Yes. Look at that. This is me learning from executive chefs right here, right now. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> <laughs> so you're supposed to like super crumble it. Yeah. I guess mm -hmm. is like the trick here. Because you just don't want like the big whole pieces. Okay. Oh stick. yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. That is a good hack. Look at that cooking hack, folks. You have to be good to hey. go long to know what you're Oh my god. I don't know if I was laughing at me. No, I'm or laughing at with you. you. I love you. I love you. It's actually it's really great. You. I'm enjoying it. Too. I'm very much enjoying it's it. It's not sarcasm. <laughs> it would have been totally okay for work. It's love. I got you, girl. Can you smell this too? Yeah, it smells like absolutely phenomenal. So oh god. now there's something I'm going to do. Just because I have access to a lot more things from Africa. So this is dry fish. Oh, and then, well, okay, yeah. dry. so that's dry fish. So they, oh, they dry the fish. Oh. Yeah, they smoke fish and they dry it. And then I turn it into a powder. Wow. And then I put it into whatever stew I'm making. All sorts it of fish? Gives it, or like or? No, it's not tilapia. It's a different one. It's not. So, yeah. So it gives it a kick to the stew. Mmm. That smells really good. Yeah. So that's dry fish. It's okay. smoked. You, you, you blend them. It becomes powder and then you use it in whatever stew you're making. So it's not just the skin, it's like the full of it. Yes, it's okay. Fish. So we're going to add some of that in here. You don't have to. Oh, Linda's here! Hey, Linda? <laughs> well, we were talking about Linda earlier. Oh, she just me. entered the room. <laughs> we're cooking, honey. Feel free to say hello. You're alive <laughs> on camera. <laughs> 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 That's Linda Bakunta who made this fabulous introduction of Awa and Hi, everybody. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. How are you, Linda? Good. And there we go. Going to town speaking. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So Linda, the, the one memory I have of Linda is she will speak like four languages in a matter of, I don't know, maybe like five minutes to different people in a household. It's yeah, pretty yeah, remarkable. True. Depending on who's around. <laughs> yes. We're making sense. So those that are at home, you're skipping this step. We just have the benefit of uh, Executive Chef Awa CB with us, who runs this catering company that you should definitely check out. It's in the text and in the chat. And she um, makes this fantastic um, powdered yeah. fish. From smoked fish. From smoked fish. Mm -hmm. That's my amazing. Kick. Yeah, so this is good. See, I just find it's boiling again. And uh, to keep your stew boiling. We have to cook the rice. Oh, we better get on top of that. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so we're real behind, folks. What? It's going to be ready on five. Four, It'll be ready in five. Jump this in. Yeah. How much rice is the recipe called for? I asked them to use two cups, four cups. Let me check. Um, so we're going to wash this first. And four, four cups before um, four people, oh, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that might be much. Yeah, that might be much. Maybe two cups or four. Yeah. Because the rice. Oh, it's over. Sarah's going to work. Okay. Um, what am I doing over here? So we have to wash the rice. We have a. We're going to grab all these things. They're going to go into the wash. Okay. So, how is everyone doing? Checking in. Give us a check in in the chat and let us know where are you at. Tell us where your status is. Is your chicken added to the stew? Are your veggies added? Julie is good. Who's still cooking? Julie is still cooking. Emily, are you still cooking? Right. Rice. And then she actually put it in the colander. Really? After she cooked oh, it. Oh, and it all fell out. No, uh, it was already cooked and it did still water in there. And then there was someone called, this is an Asian guy. And he's like, Uncle, do you something? And he's like, no, I have that. So finally, BBC invited him to do a cooking show. That's awesome. See, that would be me. That was already there. And she's Indian and she knows how to cook rice, but the recipe called her to do this. Yeah. And she had no, she's like, I don't have to cook rice. I'm Indian. Come on. So add more water okay. and keep washing until so. Yeah, we're doing <laughs> I was teaching me how to wash um, rice. Wash rice. Yeah. Because the truth of the matter is, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Apparently, you have to add a whole lot of water and just and keep on going to town. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I know it's something I should have learned. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the. I know. I'm going to do a new video on the phone. No. Okay. Yeah. So this is our rice for the jasmine rice for the side. Yep. Yes. Here we okay. go. Right. Great. Um, is the soup the still water, on the sorry. stove cooking or is the heat off, ladies? I'm sorry. Is the still soup cooking. still cooking? It is. It is. Yes. But you're putting your chicken and your vegetables that so you have. To All right. Cook. Heidi and Judy in Reno are on their second glass of wine. They're yes, looking... Heidi! Good. Evan, good to hear from you, girl. Repeat looking forward oh. to a delicious dinner. I gotta repeat this process. Rice is a real bear. <laughs> the world. All righty. <laughs> now we tell them how we don't measure anything at home. I know. We just look. Yes. They ask me for measurements. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody stopped cooking and started drinking. Oh, no. I don't know. Ju Julia De Palma is on it. She's got Julia. her rice cooking, yeah, chicken going, Thank veggies you, Julia. added. She's, She's good. on it. She can, that girl's ready to travel. She's good. Michael's on his second bottle of wine. <laughs> And uh, wow, Mary, really Mary's on her second Jameson. So oh, she's a that's a right. Hi, Aunt Mary. I love you. <laughs> she's a rival with you, Michael. All right. But <laughs> uh, I really stop cooking. <laughs> all right. We've got um, <laughs> maybe like 50 percent. So Gary got the watch again. Is we'll it? get the video later. Mm -hmm. Roll call. How's a how is Riza doing? Judy, Again? Diane, David, Connor, checking in, letting 
Let us know how you're doing. Yeah, where's Connor been? He was like, he petering out on us. Come on, Connor. Rise is well, drinking a lot more. <laughs> and then you're going to go get that water too, and then you can add your water to Okay. Do I mix it again? Kim, Linda, Mary, tell us where you're at. Connor's back. He's, hey! We're, we're with you. Good job, If you Connor. want to take a break, we don't blame you. It's been a while. Judy's still drinking. She's ready to eat. Connor's <laughs> making rice, working on the stew. Um, and Michael wants to know, Awa, what lips are we wearing? Are we doing the Kylie? Oh, Lip really kit? likes your. Oh my. Yeah, it's, Michael would notice this. It's Fenty. It's Rihanna. <laughs> oh, hey. Okay. Okay. So add some water. Yeah. Wait, I'm turning to despise rice. <laughs> I just like add it to the Instant Pot and call it a day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a lot of work. I'm right. <laughs> I think we do need a show. That's a lot of rice for sure. I'd be doing the Trader Joe's jasmine rice three minutes in the microwave. Oh, really? Really? Oh, wow. Okay. Enough? Enough. I'm going to actually remove some of the. What do you uh, Julia, oh, I almost burnt the rice, but we're good though. I'm glad. Woo! I'm glad you got it. I'm ready to burn this rice. If yours is gonna be half as spicy as ours. Julia, you'll need the rice. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Show us what you're doing there. Um, no, don't worry about that. No, we made him. I think I made a mistake. No, well, all the better to catch another scoop. All the better to catch another. Okay, we think we added too much rice, honestly, and that's what we're doing. You don't have to do any of this. Just notice our mistake. Okay, it's looks good. And okay. Riza, yes, this is all being fun. recorded in here. How yeah. fun for Maria. Okay, I am having a blast for the and record. And it will be recorded. Manning butter. This is it. After this, we're done cooking. Woo! We'll let it be. I can't and wait to eat. Wait for the rice to be ready. She adds butter to your rice. The rice. I think everybody does. I just do it every time. And we will make this uh, available on our website if Maria's okay with it. Yeah, I think that'd be great. I, you know what I was totally thinking, guys? I have like a bunch of friends internationally that are sleeping right now. I think it'd be super cool if they or we like hosted another round of this. We probably would be better teachers next time around, but like we could kind of- We can have a whole Sunday. Yes, a whole yeah. Sunday. Well, all right. I'm gonna have to go and flip flop on that one. And Emma's saying that we're going a little fast, so we try to speed it up because we're so far gonna be- Yeah, we, we are, are clearly being are, but Because usually everything is done prior to- Yeah. Hey guys, listen, this is our first go around. I'm hoping you're having fun. I hope you're learning some things. You're supporting some great stuff right now. Give us your feedback. We can yeah. do more of this can if you want. A nice shout out to Emily who has been like, yes. planning all this. Get over here. Do it with Christmas. me. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a number of folks. Emily is okay. Oh, we cheers. Um, Jill, you. Holly. Emily, this Lisa. is to you. You've been a rock star during the last couple of years organizing all of our summer events. Uh, we love you. Um, we Thank love you. you. You're a rock star. Thanks for all your awesome help with our in-person and now virtual. <laughs> Salud. Wait, how do you say it in every post? What cheers. Did you say cheers to a cheese? Did you say it? I don't know. I don't know. Well, that wasn't very hard. Cheers. They don't say, I, I want to Or to your it. health or oh, to, to the expression. Mm. I guess I'm asking Sante. the non-drinker. They say something. Uh, Santé. 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 That's your help. To your help. Yeah. Santé. Yeah. That's in French or? Yes, that is okay. in French. So, Maria, you got any, what are we doing right now? Where should everybody be? We're winding down. Okay. <laughs> I think we've got our couscous and cranberry and stuff we're just waiting. We've got the rest of the dessert part of the recipe yep, cooling. Ready. The stew's ready to rock and roll. Okay. We got our rice cooking. I mean, I think okay. we're ready. So, the stew is still cooking. The yeah. You're already getting some plates. Should, should, should they be plating? And these are people who like instruction. So do they have their <laughs> rice going? Yeah. Rice yes. On. Their rice is their rice is ready or cooked, yeah. and some folks are ready to serve themselves. They should. No. Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. I was just still looking. You have to make sure that you have oil that's like floating on top. 
Do you want to show us? Hold yeah, on. That seems important. Did you guys all hear that? vegetables are already boiled. So whoever we use vegetables, you have to make sure they're all cooked. Okay. So our stew is not ready, ready yet? yet? Nope. Because when it's ready, you don't see this foam around it anymore. It's like oil all, all, all over. So, okay. Yeah. So, say it again, please. So when it's ready, you do not see the foam. So I don't know if you see the foam around it. It will all disappear and we'll have oil all over the stew. Hey, I'm getting text messages with people's pictures. Oh, okay. nice. Good guys. Hey, feel free to post those pictures and tag feeding mouths, filling minds in your pictures yeah, and use our hashtag. Cooking for a cause. Cooking for a cause. I'm going to buy some of these delicious spices and we're going to pick, I don't know, at least a couple of winners to send some spices to. So do okay. not forget to post. And if you've noticed, okay. we so, haven't added salt yet though. We haven't added any salt to this, any additional salt. Okay, so we're, we're one more question. So we wait until there is a layer of oil on the top oh, and then okay. it's ready? Yes, go ahead. Yeah. A layer of oil all over the top. All over the top. We want so oil it's, it's all over. Foam. You know, this, 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 you cook it off. Yeah. Cook it off. Absolutely. It's all thick and very consistent. We want a thick stew. Yes, they do. Okay. I think Linda just tried her first okay. white claw, and by the look on her face, it was not terribly impressive. Did you like it? I love it. I love it. It's great. <laughs> That's called sarcasm, folks. Wow. That was great, Linda. The look on her face, I just literally got it out of the corner of my eye. That's what she did. I love it. So, okay. Emily says, I think mine's good to go. Some folks are checking on their stew. They think theirs is about ready. Emily, can I see yours? Emily can be em Emily, executive chef. Let me know if we can promote you to beyond. Are can, you can people post pictures in the chat? Emily says we can promote her, so we're going oh to Oh my god, I can't oh. wait to see. Yes. I feel like we should put the camera. Oh no, you'll see it in the chat. We can all see. So here's M. M. Hey. So M, turn on your video. I know. I know. Sorry. No, Karen, shut up. Hello. Hi. Hi. Can you see me? Oh, wait, hold on. Hi, Hi guys. Hey, honey. Okay, so this is mine. Okay. Yes. I love it. I mean, it's definitely got oil. I love it. I love it. Bye. Yeah, they left some of the chicken on the side just in case. That's okay. That's nice. that, that looks really good. Love it. Is your chicken cooked? And uh, just so you guys know, Connor is my cousin who is. Oh, he's very, adorable. He was very needed. Yeah. So ask her for chicken. Oh, uh, Connor is the cousin who, who asked for measurements, yes. specific instructions. Okay. So, um, uh, is your chicken cooked? Like, are you sure? Yeah, it is. I cut into it. Perfect. It is. Awesome. So then you're good to go. I just took the skin off of it because I don't like chicken skin. Yeah, perfect. Sounds good. Okay. Great, 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 great. Nice so, work, Em. I'm cool. sure yours is going to be even better. Hey, Lee, it looks like you What's guys up, are guys? Okay, thanks. Bye, I'm honey. Thanks. Bye. Bye. We can promote you and check in on oh, yours next. Good. Okay. Like, That's awesome. Good job. This is so cute. Yeah, I'm okay. getting a bunch of texts. Jill, we are joining you right now. You're going to have to turn on your video. And you're going to have to turn on your audio. It's actually kind of hard to like. Bottom left of your screen. Oh, there, there she is. Bro. Mm -hmm. Here, you want to carry it over? There she is. is. <laughs> hold it up. Mom, come hold up the clock. Don't hold up the Hello. Hi, Annie. Hi. Hi. We've got. Oh, she's on this. We have one vegetarian and one chicken. Oh, okay. You guys did both. You were ambitious tonight. Nice, nice. Huh. Can you see that? This is the tofu vegetable. That's the tofu mm -hmm. vegetable. That was good, Joe. Yeah, eggplant. It's got eggplant, carrots, peppers. Tofu, what else, Annie? We may have been winging Lots it a little bit. Oh, so are we. So we're even there. So, yeah. 
That's beautiful. Yeah, the chicken looks really delicious too. Look at that. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. Love it. Good job. Nice awesome. job. Yeah. You, got, you guys did great. <laughs> All right. Annie actually helped me with the organization of this. So the first test that I did was with Annie and her friends doing a virtual cooking class. Oh, that's right. So, that's super nice. Thank I you. Love it. I love it. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, ladies. Bye-bye. Salud. I love it. Let, where's Let my Aunt Mary in chat? If you guys, if anyone else wants us to check in on yours. Did Aunt Mary and Lisa both bounce? And Amy Faluka? I got your pictures. They look money. I bet they're Hey, Jay, totally are, are you on? All right. My Milwaukee Talk screen people. Where do you guys want pictures sent, Maria? Um, I think we're doing them at hashtag cooking for a cause at the Feeding Mouse Filling Minds website. Okay, Annie can figure out how to do that. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi. <laughs> All right. I feel like uh, I could change my clothes and start I love washing it. dishes. Okay. Yeah, oh, are. Okay. I don't have much to do then. All right. So last, so as we're about wrapping up here and folks are getting theirs ready. Yeah. What um what final messages, Maria, do you have about feeding house filling minds? Well, I can't understate my thank you for your, your patience tonight because this was quite an experiment in every way. Um, two, thank you to all the volunteers who pulled this together. Three is don't forget to donate. FeedingMilesFillingMinds.com, top right, donate. The funds today will be going to a small scale farm project in Sierra Leone, which we're excited to promote and support. Um, thank you to OSCB. Please uh, check out her website. And if you are local to the Madison area, please support her business, women owned business here locally. Um, what am I forgetting? Oh, and then definitely post all your pictures. I'm going to buy some of her goodness and send it to a few winners tonight or soonish. So post your pictures. You got, I don't know what, a week to do that. Tag Feeding Mouths Filling Minds in your pictures. Put it, put it on Sarah. Tag Feeding Mouths Filling Minds on your pictures. And, and you use the hashtag cooking for a cause. Cooking for a cause. And then um, we're going to pick a couple of winners on your delicacies. All right. And send you something cool. What do we do with our dessert as people are, we're, we've got just a few people left in the chat. So yep. if they're wondering what to do with the dessert. Your couscous is ready. Your yogurt is good. So whenever you're done eating and ready to eat dessert, you just have to pour some of your yogurt in a bowl, use some of the couscous. And uh, on it. top? Do yeah. you mix it all you together? Mix it. Or do you, okay. Everything? You mix it, yeah. All at once. Okay. 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 You don't have to do big all batches. Just okay. Like small batches so as you go. Single serve yeah. per person. Mm -hmm. Keep them separate. Yeah. So you can have the have, have that in the fridge for longer. Okay. Does that make sense? Did everybody that get that? Good. And then the stew. Do you add the rice into the stew, or mm -hmm. do you serve it on the side? So on the side, everything is going to be served on the side. Okay. Yeah. Great. What a fun night. Yeah, All right, so, so we will stay on for just a minute here. Um, we'll say thank you to everybody, but if you have any last minute questions as you're finishing up your meal, add them into the chat. We'll take your questions. Otherwise, let's just say a big thank you. Yeah, to everybody for who Get so over here, ladies. Stayed on. Thank, thank you, you, everybody. We really appreciate your patience and thanks for cooking with us. us. And if you want to see more of these, or tweaks in them, don't hesitate to give us feedback. We are very open to it. We appreciate you guys. Absolutely.